are not disliked. We are hated. H-A-T-E-D. H-A-T-E. And until we accept that bit of wisdom and prepare ourselves and learn how to deal with it and how to fight back, we're going to stay as powerless as we are now. It is not about cooperation with anybody. It's about ramming into their faces the fact that we demand more. We demand to be the same as everyone else. Of different partners. That's for now, until we know better. It's, uh, I get the feeling, just, uh, just talking to a number of, uh, of activists around the country, that it's almost a Damocles kind of a situation. That, uh, well, activist is the wrong word. The gay political movement, if, if there is such a thing, and I really doubt it, but the, the, what are, the people who are known as the gay politicians have steered very clear of all of this. It's, a, it's, it's loaded for them because for so many years gay rights has fought for the right to uh, be sexually free. And uh, for suddenly something like this to come out of left field and say, uh, if you are going to be sexually free, and this is happening in the straight world too with the sexual revolution and herpes, uh, there may be some added little uh, bonuses that you're going to have to put up with. So the gay leadership, again, if there is such a thing, and I don't see it. Uh, uh oh, he made a mistake. Herpes come from a uh, gay community too. The um, Canaanites comes from Canaanites. All the sexual stromita diseases comes from homosexual communities. Gotta do your math. This century is AIDS. And the other century was herpes and the other century was... Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm getting all this wrong. Gonorrhea comes from the Canaanites. Herpes come from Italy, from gay communities. Has really steered clear of it. The thing about GMHC, our organization, is that none of us is a political person. We are not politically aligned. We're all concerned gays who were not politically active, particularly. Uh, as, I, as I say, I'm a writer. Uh, the other corporation executives, investment people, fundraisers, uh, not your usual known gays. And we've done this out of, out of need and desperation. And the only reason we're doing it is because no one else was doing it. The other gay social... <sighs> You try not to think about it. You just know that your best friend has died. You just know that a person you had a love affair with is in Lenox Hill Hospital with PCP, which has an 80% fatality rate, and you have to do that for him, and you have to do it for the people who, are been, who have died or the people who are coming along, and you have to do it in the face of a city that is not giving us any help in terms of social. The mayor is in a newspaper like the New York Times, which if it prints anything on this, will print a, an article this big on page D24. We have to get the information around. It's very hard. I mean, we're putting out a leaflet. We ourselves, this is something that should be, be done by, who knows, by the government, by the CDC. We are putting out a leaflet that's going to blanket the whole city, 500,000 copies that says, guys, until we know better, cool it. Give up your drugs. Lay off the number of people you're having sex with until we know better, because it's, if it is a virus and it is sexually transmitted, it is passing between us. So let's cool it for a while. You know, have as much sex as you want, but with fewer number of people. We're doing this. We are all volunteers. We we have medical people on our board, but basically we are lay people. I belong to a culture that includes Marcel Proust, Walt Whitman, Tennessee Williams, Alexander the Great, so many popes and cardinals you wouldn't believe. Mr. Green Beret, did you know that it was an openly gay Englishman who's responsible for winning World War II? His name's Alan Turing, and he cracked the German's Enigma Code. After the war was over, he committed suicide because he was so hungry for being gay. Why did they teach any of that in the schools? A gay man is responsible for winning World War II. If they did, maybe he wouldn't have killed himself. And you wouldn't be so terrified of who you are. That's how I want to be remembered. Mr. Kramer has... Uh put a book where it shows that there always has been gays through our American history. That there's always no deny of it, that we just can't cover it up. Well, the thing with this is that, yes, it's in the freaking Bible. It says exactly what he's saying, but not his way. 
the Bible says it, the God's way. There's a reason why. There's nothing just to go, hey, gays. The Bible does not say, hey, gays, for crying out loud. Don't be stupid. And by you saying, oh, look, it happened in the past. It will be happening in the future. Yeah, you always be here. That problem will be over here because when you speak with the spiritual terms, it's a different realm for crying out loud. Don't you understand? You're, it's an offense to the Creator. Now, is you're not just born gay. Larry. Uh -huh. Larry. Larry. Do you, Larry? Take this man, David, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love, honor, and cherish in sickness and in health, in joy and adversity, as long as you both shall live. Yes. Yes, you do? How about nodding your head? Nod your head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> David, yes. do you, David, take this man, Larry, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love, honor, and cherish in sickness and in health, in joy and adversity, from here to eternity? Yes. And now, by the power vested in me by the laws of the state of New York, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you Husband and husband. Special rights in America. First of all, you've opened Pandora's box to every deviant behavior group logically being able to line up and bang on the same door and insist on special rights for themselves. You have totally destroyed, really, a realistic understanding of human rights. The homosexuals today uh, should not be discriminated against in ordinary conduct and generally are not. Uh, they're entitled to the same constitutional rights of uh, free speech. Uh, if anything, uh, uh, they have used uh, free speech to the point where uh, their conduct is probably offensive uh, to most people. The church, the state, four months will decide my fate. The church, the state, four months will decide my fate. All of these groups, the sadomasochists, the pedophiles, the transsexuals, all were back marching in the gay rights parade. The gay agenda is to have sex in any way you please. We will not be able to in this country as full human beings until we have the right to love whom we love, when we love, and where we love. And I have tremendous fears of the resulting society that will emerge if Americans, black and whites, do not stand up to this one uh, push that's being made in our country today. The notion that uh, we can be different to homosexuality or heterosexuality that's just been flipping the coin. It's really a, a very uh, backward notion. No society can survive, obviously, unless it uh, uh, comes full forward in favor of heterosexuality.